Coca-Cola has been around for more than 120 years, but it is still the most popular drink in the world. Every day, 1.9 billion servings are sold in 200-plus countries. The brand has always been interested in finding better ways to connect with buyers. Coca-Cola's strong marketing strategy has been able to bring up millions of people over the years, making it the world's biggest maker and licensor of 3,500 non-alcoholic drinks. Coca-Cola Target Audience Coca-Cola has a huge amount of brand recognition because it tries to sell to everyone. Its success depends on how well it divides up its marketing. Age First, the business is aimed at young people between the ages of 10 and 35. They use famous people in their ads to get people's attention, and they also run campaigns in schools, universities, and colleges. They also offer Diet Coke to middle-aged and older people who must control their weight or have diabetes. Income and Family Size It comes in different sizes and packages with different prices to make it more affordable for students, middle-class families, and people with low incomes. Geographical Segmentation Coca-Cola sells its goods all over the world and seeks to reach people from different places, cultures, and climates. For instance, in America, it is liked by older people too, so the business goes after different groups. It also differs the change accordingly, like the Asian version is sweeter than other countries. Gender Coca-Cola markets to men and women differently. For example, women like Coca-Cola Light, while men like Coke Zero and Thumbs Up because of their strong taste. Coca-Cola Marketing Channels At first, Coca-Cola didn't target different groups of people in different ways. In recent years, it has started making changes to its goods to make them more popular. It uses two main types of marketing, personal and non-personal. Personal channels include direct communication with the audience. Non-personal marketing channels include both online and offline sources, like newspapers, promotion campaigns, events, television posters, emails, web pages, leaflets, billboards, PR activities, social media magazines, radio. Coca-Cola Marketing Strategy Coca-Cola is known all over the world and is very famous because it has a unique way of marketing itself. The plan can be split into the following parts. Product Strategy About 500 items are made by Coca-Cola. It sells soft drinks all over the world, and a marketing mix is part of its product plan. It sells many different amounts and types of drinks, such as Coca-Cola, Minute Maid, Diet Coke, Light, Coca-Cola Life, Coca-Cola Zero, Sprite Fanta, and more. They make a big contribution and make a lot of money. Coca-Cola's price stayed the same at $0.05 cents for about 73 years. With more competition from companies like Pepsi, the company had to make changes to how it set prices. It doesn't change its price by a lot, and it doesn't raise it for no reason, because that would make people question the quality of the product and switch to something else. Place Strategy Coca-Cola has a huge marketing network. It works in six areas, North America, Latin America, Africa, Europe, the Pacific, and Eurasia. The bottling partners make, package, and ship the products to the dealers. The agents then carry the goods to the stockist, then to distributors, retailers, and finally to the customer. Coca-Cola also has a large network of people who collect empty glass bottles so they can be used again. So, we save money and other resources. Promotion Strategy Coca-Cola employs different promotional and marketing strategies to survive the competition in the market. It spends up to $4 million annually to advertise its brand using both traditional and international methods for advertisements. Classic font, logo, and bottle. Coca-Cola held a contest for people all over the world to create the bottle. The winner of the event used the design of a cocoa pod, which the company then used to promote its shape and logo. It stands out from its rivals because its logo is written in Spencerian script. The way Coca-Cola markets itself with its brand makes sure that people will remember it. Localized Positioning The Share a Coke program, which started in 2018 in nearly 50 countries, has been a big hit. The images of celebrities of that region and messages according to the local language and culture of the area target the local market. Sponsorships the company is a well-known brand because it supports American Idol, NASCR, the Olympics, and many other events.
Coca-Cola has worked with every Olympic Games since 1928, helping players, officials, and fans all over the world. Social media Social media and online avenues of communication have become the most important parts of Coca-Cola's marketing strategy as technology has improved. It posts pictures, videos, and other things on digital marketing sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat. SEO, email marketing, content marketing, and video marketing are the main parts of Coca-Cola's marketing plan. Let's look at the SWOT analysis of Coca-Cola. The strengths of the company. Strong brand identity. Coca-Cola is well known because of how strong its name is. A study shows that it is one of the strongest world-class companies, with a brand strength index of 93.3 out of 100. It is clear that Coca-Cola puts creativity and quality into its goods, from the way they are packaged to how they look and what they contain. In turn, this motivates and draws in more customers. Coca-Cola not only makes good products, but also has a huge effect on marketing efforts on TV and online. Because of this, Coca-Cola has become more than just a brand. It has become an icon, and its goods are the ones that have sold the most in history. Now let's see if you can answer the following question. What is the geographical segmentation strategy of Coca-Cola? A. Focusing on North America and Europe only. D. Targeting specific countries with high populations. C. Selling goods all over the world to reach different cultures and climates. D. Concentrating on Asian markets for sweeter versions. Comment your answers below. Strong brand value. Coca-Cola has been around since 1886, which is more than a century ago. It is now worth 97.7 billion US dollars, making it one of the most valuable names in the world. Over the years, the company has come up with unique ways to attract customers, such as customized bottle designs, holiday designs, and other flashy designs. This makes sure that people remember the goods all year long. It has also helped raise the value of its name. The company also uses sub-branding tactics to sell different kinds of products. A study by Interbrand put Coca-Cola as the sixth best brand in the world. Global Reach Coca-Cola has a global impact because it sells in more than 200 countries and serves about 1.9 billion people every day. The company has become popular all over the world by making drinks for a small amount of money. Coca-Cola has more than 16 million users all over the world and works hard to give them more value. Coca-Cola also tries to figure out what its users and consumers in different places want. Also, Coca-Cola is known to have released more than 500 new items, some of which are different versions of the Coca-Cola drink. In the end, Coca-Cola's success depends on how well it can meet customers' needs for drinks and give them something extra. Brand Association Coca-Cola is one of the names that people in the U.S. feel the most emotionally connected to. Customers are very loyal to the brand, and they are easily drawn to a certain taste. This makes it hard to find quick alternatives. Also, it has a close relationship with its customers and fun ads that are popular in the media. Coca-Cola also became a well-known brand because it used foreign stars, athletes, and actors in its ads. Also, it has more fans than any other brand of liquor. So, Coca-Cola is a drink that is known almost everywhere in the world. Weaknesses Competition with Pepsi If Pepsi hadn't been around, Coca-Cola might have been the only market winner in the drinks business. Coca-Cola's most important competitor is thought to be Pepsi. Coca-Cola has always been bigger than Pepsi, but since Pepsi started doing a lot of marketing and promoting its products, Pepsi's stock has gone up, and in 2004, it just barely passed Coca-Cola. Also, Pepsi's pricing is based on what customers want, while Coca-Cola's prices are set to be the same as those of their rival. Since they both got into the soft drink business, Coca-Cola and Pepsi have been in competition with each other. Since then, Coca-Cola has spent a lot of money on marketing and coming up with new ideas. Product Diversification Coca-Cola has a limited number of goods, while Pepsi has made food, snacks, and drinks, among other things. This is an advantage for Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Health Issues Diabetes and Obesity 
which are both caused by eating too much sugar, can be linked to drinking energy drinks, which are the main source of sugar. Many health experts tell people not to drink these drinks and say they should be banned. This is a big problematic challenge for Coca-Cola, which makes more carbonated drinks than any other company. But Coca-Cola hasn't yet come up with a healthier option or a way to solve this problem. The RTD, ready to drink, coffee industry in the U.S. is growing. The Beverage Marketing Corporation report shows that between 2013 and 2017, RTD coffees grew faster than any other type of liquid beverage in the U.S. In 1975, Georgia RTD coffee was put on the market by a branch of Coca-Cola Corporation in Japan. Georgia was a big hit in Japan, so the company brought the name to the United States in 2009. Asians living in the U.S. are the main people who buy these coffees right now. Even though the market for RTD coffee in the United States isn't very big, Coca-Cola could keep advertising its Georgia brand to win market share. Also, the company could quickly buy a number of smaller RTD coffee companies that are growing quickly to expand its RTD caffeine portfolio and its part of the market. Add new goods to the market and reduce added sugar. Due to consumers' obsession with health, more and more people are moving to healthier options like water and drinks with less sugar. If Coca-Cola gets into this market, it will be able to make more money and get a bigger part of the market. This trend is becoming very famous very quickly. Like Pepsi, Coca-Cola has the chance to add healthier drinks and snacks to its line of products. Coca-Cola has made it a priority to make its drinks less sweet, and according to its 2018 annual report, 28% of its total sales are now low-calorie or no-calorie drinks. Threads Water Usage Controversy Coca-Cola has worked hard over the years to become a company that cares about the environment, but because of climate change and the potential shortage of water, their efforts might not work. Coca-Cola is said to use more than 300 billion gallons of water every year to make what is thought to be 1.9 billion drinks. Coca-Cola said it had reached water neutrality around the world five years ahead of plan. Also, it's important to think about sugar, which is another main factor in Coke. For the Earth to be able to make sugar, it needs a lot of water. Pollution Lawsuit With its packaging that doesn't break down, Coca-Cola is a big polluter. Earth Island Institute sued Coca-Cola in June 2021, saying that the company uses misleading marketing by saying that it is sustainable and good for the environment when, in reality, it is the biggest source of plastic waste in the world. In the cases, Coca-Cola won because the claims that were being criticized were unclear and difficult to measure. In 2020, Coca-Cola and other big companies that use plastic bottles were also sued. 